guys, I'm really, really excited. So, um, you might have seen in my other videos, I went out for a hunt. Hasn't even been a week since, and we got a lot of goat. 11 goats, a few roos, and some pigs as well. I don't need pig, so the pigs are over there on the field. But here's a goat, and here's some of the kangaroo. It still needs washing. I'm going to cut it down. Obviously, kangaroo, so now I'm going to be making burgers. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that. I'm going to be making a mix of goat and roux burgers. Um, I have tried it before and it turned out really, really well. However, with the roux, because it has no fat, all right, you will need some fat. And that's where the goat comes in handy. So this is a lovely shoulder of goat. And as you can see, it's got lovely fat all around it. So that will help us in our burgers. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to clean up all of this and then you can be part of it when we start with the grinding in my trusty grinding machine or mincing machine. finally mixed it's ground of um, goat and roux and as you can see there's bits of fat everywhere in between and that's from the um, that's from the goat and obviously the kangaroo has a very very strong flavor so now uh, we're not done over here we still have to mix it in with stuff so what I have over here these are all because game meat is a strong meat Right, you, you have the goat as well as kangaroo, so you need strong flavors with it as well. So what I'm going to do, I have this dill. I'm going to put that in. I've got some of this lemon and rosemary. All right, now that's a South African, where I'm from, that's a South African seasoning all the way from South Africa. So I'm going to put that in. Obviously, we've got some salt. We've got some ground black pepper. We've got some paprika, sweet paprika. And uh, we have ginger, and I'm going to crack two eggs in that and yes obviously we've got some rosemary as well so I'm going to put all of that in and uh, make the burgers
All right. And there we go. There is our um, kangaroo goat um, burger mince ready to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press out some burgers. Now I don't have, uh, I'm here up in Brisbane, so at home I actually have a, you know, a little burger maker, you know, the one which you put in, so I don't have that with me. So I'm just going to have to make it by hand. So I've seen how they do this, so let me go ahead and do it. This was about this was about a kilo altogether of meat, and I'm thinking maybe slightly over a kilo, and I'm thinking that I'm going to get eight burgers from it, eight or nine burgers from it. Not bad. All right, there we go. So we actually out of all of that, we got exactly ten. Burgers. Now I know they look quite large, but remember they're going to shrink once we pop them on the pan. Now I have the pan on, it's getting hot. This is inducted heat, so I, which I'm not quite used to. Normally cook with gas, but let's see how it goes. So I've lightly oiled my pan and now I've got my burgers fizzling away over there. Um, that pan is quite small so I have this second one up here running. Now, the trick over here is don't muck around with it right now. Wait for it to spill at the bottom. What might happen if you might move it around now, it might fall apart. So wait for it to properly spill at the bottom, then you can flip it around. And I'm going to give it maybe about three minutes. Three minutes until I start flipping it around. Okay, 
and then I'm going to go. I'm going to go with my lettuce. Oh, there's a nice piece of lettuce over there, and then I'm going to go with my onions. Uh, sorry, I'm going to go with the tomatoes. And now, what I usually like to do, I like to put some salt and pepper on that as well. I think it gives it just that nice little bit of flavour. And a little bit of pepper on that. And I'm going to top that all up with that. And that there is my burger. Now I'm going to cut that in half. And I'm going to dig in and I'm going to tell you people how that is. Here we go. Ultimate test. Look at that. That looks good. There we go. Bismillah. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm not just saying it because I made the burger. I'm not just saying it because I hunted the roux and the goat cleaned it and skinned it and whatever. Generally, that's a nice burger. Beautiful flavors. The burger itself, the patty itself has flavor. Many a times you buy a burger and the patty itself doesn't have any flavor to it. But here, the patty is full of flavor. That rich gaminess, which I love. And then you got all those other ingredients. This is a well-structured burger. I'm gonna eat that with some chips I have in the oven. But um, it's really wonderful. So, um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like the video. Go and have a look at actually how we got these. Um, it should be um, in the videos as well. Thank you.